Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa where we are currently kind of beating up on Tunis. I don't know, we don't have a lot of troops here. It's uh, a little on the dangerous side. This army down here is actually, I believe, at full capacity. So all of our troops are being funneled up to these two armies. So that is good. We were planning on largely chilling. At least after this war, we're, we're going to take just these three. That's all we're going for. They wouldn't quite accept it yet. We need to take a couple more things over this direction. But that's fine. How much manpower do they actually have? Probably should have checked this <laughs> before we declared. Tunis. This is not sorted by country. Tunis. There's Tunis. They have thirteen thousand, or they have three hundred manpower. Okay, and they're probably not gaining as much per month as we are, so we should be outpacing them on this front. Plus, they have to cross this strait every time they want to attack, which they want to do right now. Apparently, well, we're not making much for progress here, so let's shift consolidate this, leave behind a zero strength unit and move the rest to reinforce over here. Looks like we don't actually need it. But that's fine. Robber Barons. The Burgers are concerned with the great influence of the nobility in our state. They claim that many lower members of the nobility are disregarding the peace and law of the land, using their position of power and the lands they hold to take up unreasonable tolls and taxes for traders passing by. Some are even said to attack and waylay merchants, robbing or extorting them of their money. Representations, representations, representatives of the Ethiopian burghers now claim that the economic development of our country is held back by these excesses. The nobility, on the other hand, argue that they are simply charging reasonably for the use of their roads property. For the use of their roads property. It, it, it actually says that. Some are willing to give the state a part of the share they take. So one base tax, and there's temporary stuff that happens. Nobility would gain 10 influence. That would be okay, actually. Or we could gain a base production and have basically the same thing. Let's go for the base tax. So we're actually winning this fight. Excellent. We did lose a general, though. So let's go ahead and merge all of these together. Shift consolidate. We're going to pull out three units of cannon. And we are going to pull out... Five units of infantry. Boy, that's a vast majority of our army here. They're now at low war enthusiasm. We still have negative 48 reasons for them to accept this. Hmm. I feel like we just leave all of this combined together. We pull these guys out, stick them here. And we just keep up this siege. They can't keep this up for nearly as long as we can, and we can always pull up our third army if necessary. Meanwhile, the Mamluks are going to run around capturing things for us, building up our war score that way. So we'll just take this kind of passive approach. They only have a, a max here of, what, 11k? Yeah, so they're basically at their max. Shift consolidate that and pull out all of the zero strength regiments. Okay, let's do that. And then we'll select this one and shift consolidate it again. Pull out these zero strength regiments. That was a full regiment there. There we go. And we will move our zero strength regiments out here. And we're going to do this once more. 
shift consolidate, zero strength regiments, out you come. There we go. Excellent. Well, Tunis doesn't want much of this fight anymore. Can't say I blame them. Agricultural revolution. We've managed to increase our agricultural production by implementing new farming techniques for plantations, irrigation, and land properties organizations, and thereby bring higher tax income to our state. We could invest in a bigger army and get a base manpower, or we can gain a base tax or a base production. I feel like right now... Let's go for the base manpower. And we lost another general. Okay. We could roll one up, or we could try to poke our estate. Hmm, they're at 60 influence. Probably not. We'll ask for money from the burgers. But we're just going to roll up a general here. He's kind of kind of terrible, but he'll do for now. So this is a vast majority of our regiments, but very little of our actual army. So his combat width is actually only 6. His miltech is 22 to our 21. He has extra cavalry and artillery fire and artillery shock and a new artillery type. So his artillery is a lot stronger than ours. However... I still feel like if we have our 2,000 cavalry plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 infantry, his combat width of infantry, and all of the artillery, these guys can come on over here, and we will pull our cavalry regiments off of here. Actually, we won't even. We'll just leave it like it is. And then we'll roll up another new leader. He's actually going to attack us. Okay. Nope, he doesn't want to anymore. Can't say I blame him. Oh, now he does. <laughs> hmm, do we wait for him to just lock in here? I think we do. There we go. And we'll go back in. And he is just crushing us really hard. Our reinforcements there they got there excellent but we're losing a lot of manpower here I feel like at this point we just have to leave literally everything in Tatooine wait we lost that and we're only retreating to here what Oh boy. Run away. Quick. Get our top maneuver. Run away. We can't get out. 29 October. We get out. On 3 November. But he fights both of us, looks like. He fights our entire force here. No. This one is still re is doing a shattered retreat. Why didn't this one do a shattered retreat, though? That's the question that I have. And stack wiped. Well, we just lost most of our army. Well, these guys absolutely have to come up now. There's no way around that. We can convert Pate. Why did they only retreat one province away, though? That's what I want to know. Also, I wasn't paying attention to the morale, but should we not have won that? I feel like we should have won. But I guess RNG is what RNG is. Okay, we just got university, so we definitely want to build a university in Gondor. We need development 20 to do it. Do we get rid of a marketplace? I feel like we get rid of the marketplace. And then we just build ourselves a university. There we go. That'll be finished when? 12 months? Okay, it'll be done in plenty of time. 
Excellent. We can also make states. So, let's see here. 0 0.74, 0 0.97, 0 0.42, 0 0.46. I was looking at the wrong thing. 1.54, there we go. And let's keep going through these. 1.14, 0 0.91, 1.48, eh, we'll go for it. 1.03, 1 0.8, 1.28, hang on, um, it doesn't actually say, 0 0.8, 1 1.25, 1.53, that'll be okay, 0 0.36, 0 0.92, 1 1.58, that'll be okay. 0 0.71, 0 0.40, 0 0.99, ooh, 3.44, that'll be solid, there we go, get rid of all those, and now we have a lot of coring to do, so that'll be exciting, <laughs> also exciting, this whole nonsense. I just can't believe that happened. Completely screwed there. Nothing to be done. Royal marriage offer from the Commonwealth. That'll be fine, though. We are moving up that army. Um, let's give them the top maneuver general. There we go. Local tax increase. One of our local provincial governors has skillfully used his authority to increase the tax base in his province. Excellent. Excellent. You don't want out yet? Nope, you don't want out yet. Okay. Well, your job, once you get to Alexandria, is going to be to delay him. There we go. We will also go ahead and repay our, two of our loans. There we go. Is he just marching right past that fort? Yes, he is. Of course he is. Okay, we're going to be fighting in Bardia, looks like. Nothing we can do about that. I did not want to do this, but he's maneuvering very quickly indeed. We're going to retreat back to Cairo as soon as we can. There we go. That army is still on their way up. We'll see what he actually wants to do here. He is losing a lot of manpower. And we do have a lot of troops that we can still throw at him. Let's go ahead and just start converting that list a little bit. We're going to back these guys off. We don't want to fight him immediately. We'll head up into Damietta. If he wants to waste time, this is fine. We'll keep kiting. Yeah, we'll head up into Alexandria. He doesn't want to go that way. This is uh, taking altogether longer than I hoped to kill those guys. He is currently going into there, though. So let's head back into Rosetta. Ooh, 27k stack of pretenders, or rather particularists. Well, that's exciting. Where is our army? On its way still. Well, the holding action is proving effective. Our army is drawing near. We are at 9.9k here. We're going to keep chasing this guy as much as we can. The states are demanding control of provinces, though. Clergy and nobility, both. Okay, clergy. Actually, nobility first, since this has grain. We'll grant that to them. Nobility are now happy. Clergy! Here, have some cows. Still not happy? Okay, here, have some cows. 
Still not happy? Oh wait, we were, we were revoking those cows. Here, have some cows. Here, have some cows. Here, have some cows. How many cows do you want? Holy crap. Look at all of these cows. More cows. Now they're happy. Excellent. Okay, we do outnumber these guys fairly heavily. Let's keep chasing them around. Wait for at least one more month tick. Are they just leaving? Oh no, they're going for the Wargle. Okay. They don't seem to actually want to fight us. Malaka wants military access. We're not going to give that to them. You going into Suez? Yes. Okay, I... Harley is almost certainly streaming our Irish succession game right now. I explicitly... Steam has been doing this. I explicitly went offline before I started this, and it keeps putting me back online. I don't know why. It just started doing that. Well, let's go ahead and grab Fium. And let's have our primary army come up here and smack Tunis. Get out of here, Tunis. Nobody likes you. You should get stack wiped here, I think. No, you did not. Oh well. We do need you to come smack these particularists. There we go. Hey, we converted Jaffa. I'm just, I'm, I'm still pretty salty about that stack wipe. That makes me very, very sad indeed. Ottomans just rivaled us. Good for you, Ottomans. We'll keep coring some of these things. There we go, we killed those rebels. Hey, he wants to accept it. He has 21 reasons. He doesn't want to pay war reps. But we can probably take some money. Six reasons. Three reasons. He won't take that. But he will take this. There. Okay. Time to group up in Alexandria. Let's assess our losses here. They were significant. We're going to need to rebuild heavily. So, first things first. Merge all of these... Shift consolidate, and we will split up. There we go. You will go over to Gaza. And now we will need to start rebuilding. Our current combat width is 34. So that should be our number of infantry that we're looking to host. And, I mean, supply limits are definitely going up. Is the next Miltech going to increase them at all? Not really. But what it will do... I mean, I, I, think we're, I think we're fine. So we'll take this up to four units of cavalry for now. This will take some time to rebuild because our manpower is still quite low. However, you should be drilling. And we will also have you drill as soon as you get to your destination. You do need a leader for that to happen. You'll also get one unit of cavalry and one unit of cannon. You will also get one unit of cannon. And now we'll just continue rebuilding slowly at the rate of about a regiment a month. Thereabouts. Okay. You can go ahead and have that. We still do need to reinforce 7,395 men. So that's not going to be going up for a few months. And we now, worst of all, look weak to the AI. That's the worst part of this. So we need to be focusing on that for sure. We are building the university in our capital. In fact, it is completed. So theoretically, I believe that means that Enlightenment could spawn in our country. 
and yes, it could. We can no longer claim Zumbo. We may want to... May want to be building a spy network down here. We did also convert Quellamelane. So now we will convert Fium. There we go. And anything that's causing overextension, we want to make core. We can't obviously afford to just yet, but we will get there. Our amount of manpower is currently going down each month. But two more months and we will be fully reinforced. So that's excellent. So we managed to clean up this border over here. It only cost us most of our army. Completely worthwhile. I can think of no problems with this. <laughs> oh boy. One more month and we will be fully reinforced. There we go. And now we're gaining a thousand manpower a month. So now every month we will be able to recruit another unit of infantry. Royal marriage offer from Hungary. We'll accept that. We definitely need Hungary and the Commonwealth and Russia to defend us. Now that we're currently looking juicy and the Ottomans rivaled us. Go ahead and recruit another unit here. So we're going to go up. We're, we're going to keep it at four units of cavalry. However, we're going to go up to 34, or, or no, we're going to go up to 30, which would bring us to our full combat width. Right? 34? Yes. According to the governor of Damietta, the citizens are in uproar because of our missionaries' complete lack of respect for any religious practices or traditions different from their own. He's asking us to consider canceling all further missionary activities in the area, or at least sending some more troops until things calm down a bit. Well, gain South African musketeers in Damietta. And gain 10 unrest. Hang on. Boy, that's convenient. Free troops. <laughs> and this is just about done converting. He'll be done on 15 February. The odds of there actually being a rebellion here are basically nil. So, we just got free troops. I'll take it. That's what we need right now. Can we poke our nobility for manpower? We can. And we shall. There we go. Now we have a lot of manpower to, to play with, to rebuild with. Well, I mean, not a ton of manpower, but almost two years worth. So let's go ahead and build up to 30 here. And then also up to 24 here. There we go. We should be making... Actually, I thought we'd be making more money than that. And there we converted Damietta. It's now relatively happy-ish. Excellent. We may as well mothball this fort. There we go. And we may as well get two more units here. And one more unit. I'm just, I'm still salty that it retreated one province with our empty army and then stack wiped. Whereas the other one retreated all the way to Cairo. That That's just so salty about that right now. Ugh. Okay, what is the supply limit here? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. What about in Gaza? Supply limit of 38. That's a lot worse. Can we go somewhere more useful? Yeah, Sharkia. Sharkia will be fine. We'll go ahead and move there. And then continue drilling. I'm just thinking that we could go up to the full combat width of artillery. Especially with the next Miltech. That's going to be super useful. Also, next month we should be able to... Oh, but you're already converting Fium. Okay, so that won't be a thing for a little bit. But what we can do is go up to 30 infantry here. We can also go ahead and start recruitment somewhere down here with 
decent development up to like ideally 60 but there really isn't anywhere with that kind of supply limit down here hmm our efforts to develop Korea go on, but now some of the settlers have rejected our capital city and begun establishing a new settlement quite far from the original one. Now people flock to that second settlement and we're left to split our efforts. More people means more taxes, though. We'll stick it in Cephala, I guess. It's only going, going to, for now, not mercenaries, it's only for now going to be a single unit of South African musketeers. Hey, we can get our dip tech up. Line of battle. Fantastic. In order to make better use of the various developments in naval warfare, new tactics are required. The evolution of broadside cannon have meant that the most efficient way for ships is no longer to seek to board the other party, but rather to form a line of battle to be able to maximize the amount of firepower directed at the enemy. Excellent. We should probably, at this point, switch our national focus over to admin. Sunni Zealots. Where? Mostly Fium. So, they're going to be up here. That won't be too bad. We should probably stop you drilling. And get you in position. There we go. Yeah, that should be fine. These Melindians might actually revolt as well. What's going on with Mombasa? Like, why are you upset? Oh, because you're still Sunni. That'll be it. There. Now you should be a lot less ha unhappy. Also for Melindy. There we go. We just don't want to deal with that. Independence from Mamluks. That should be fine. Growth of regimental towns. As the army becomes a way to earn a livelihood for an increasing number of our subjects, the cities that house the army installations and barracks are starting to grow under the supervision of army engineers and renovators. In Naganda, the growth of Chilumba has come to benefit the entire province. Plus one base tax and minus to some costs. That's pretty great. Okay. So let's go ahead and keep moving in a few swivel cannon regiments. We'll move in five for now. The question, of course, is what is our land force limit? 144. So we can't actually have three full-sized armies. We can have two full-sized armies and one smaller army. That should be okay. I don't actually see a problem with that whatsoever. And next month we will be able to do this. Darna, huh? Well, that's a pretty small revolt. We'll go deal with it. There we go. You should be relatively regenerated by the time you get there. Hopefully. <laughs> Maybe. We'll go ahead and do that as well. Mimlukian pretender rebels. Okay. Well, they can try that if they like. I have a feeling they won't like the result. Dramatic currency revaluation. Concerned about spiraling inflation. Inflation's lower than it's been in a very long time. Our government strongly advises us to abandon the old coinage and begin using a new, more stable currency. While beneficial in the long run, this would immediately cause severe unrest in our country, along with a loss of, a loss of prestige. That's actually not a loss of prestige. That's just a stability hit. Which we will take. There we go. Could have been worse. I suppose. <laughs> yeah, that shouldn't be an issue to deal with that at all. Yeah. Get out of here. Stupid rebels. Nobody likes a rebel. There we go, let's core that. Once our overextension is under control, then we can start working on making these full cores rather than territorial ones. Which, again, is one of the big reasons why we switched over to admin focus, because we need a lot of admin power. We're falling behind in admin tech, and we have all of these things to core. So admin focus it is. 
I'm also thinking about maybe hiring in... Hang on, Revolt. I'll get to you in a moment. Sunni zealots have risen up somewhere. Wait, way over there. Good lord. What am I supposed to do about that? They were supposed to rise up here. Okay. Let's go ahead and ignore that for now. We're going to need to... Do we have ships? We have a few. Well... Actually, uh, let's just leave them where they are. Demothball these. And then we'll need to transport these guys all the way over here. So that'll be, you know, lengthy. And then 76. But the, the missionary is already here. We'll go ahead and we'll take these guys into this army for now. Yeah, they're, they're doing that as expected. We'll go into Yao, I guess. Send in the infantry. The humble foot soldier is sometimes looked down upon by the cavalrymen, but he is the backbone of any army. A strong infantry attack can prove almost as devastating as a cavalry charge. Our infantry are rising to the fact that they are enjoying their day in the sun. You are the finest. Plus 5% combat ability for 10 years for our infantry. Nice. I'll take it. We'll build five more cannons here. This is going to take forever to ferry. And how many troops is that? 35k. So we actually need a large, a large contingent. Okay, we converted Pate. We're next going to convert Kilwa. There we go. We also have some potential Mamlukian separatists coming up. They are going to spawn here-ish. We'll go ahead and go into here. Trade protection CB against Matterai. That's okay. But I just noticed that we are like 33 minutes into this, so I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here, and next episode we'll deal with these jerks. See you all then.